Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another ZD Toys 110 scale Marvel figure unboxing and review. Today we are taking a look at another figure in the classic Venom series, the mean, the nasty carnage. Now I got mine from toyswonderland.com. Link for that is in the description below. They do have installment plans and a reward system. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon and join button so you're notified as soon as a brand new review goes live on the channel. As for the box art, this is how you do it. This artwork is sick. We've got Carnage off to the side looking like he's about to kick some serious butt. In the background, his tendrils and metallic red. Then down below, his name with a raised print, also in metallic red. On the side of the box, I can't get over that name. I love the little drippy tendrils down below. It looks wet, it looks nasty, perfect for Carnage. Up top, 110 scale classic Venom series. Kinda weird they didn't call it classic symbiote series, cause Carnage and Venom are both symbiotes, but only Venom is Venom. Not a huge deal, I'm aware, but seriously, they could have called this the Venomized line or the symbiote line, but no, they went with classic Venom series. Very weird. We do have some product shots off to the side, plus a full body shot of the figure himself. Then down below, all the warnings and legal info. One thing that ZD Toys do keep consistent across their various lines, Iron Man, Spider-Man, and now Venom, the unboxing experience, it's super simple. You literally open up this top panel held in place with magnets. That's it. Job done. There's the figure. Now, Venom was good, but he did have some issues. He was relatively lightweight. I didn't love the articulation, but he did have presence. Will this guy be the same as Venom or better? Well, that's what we're here to find out. First impressions, he's tall, he's lanky, I'm liking the finish, more to discuss on that later on, but he is relatively lightweight, kind of like Venom. What we are going to do now though, is get all of his accessories, or two trays of them, laid out in the light box and take a closer look at everything he comes with. Starting off with the display base first, it's hexagonal, it's a little bit larger than the usual ZD Toys base, but... Carnage himself is also larger, so this style of base works here. It's nice and low profile, so it doesn't add a ton of height in the display. Then up top, some very Carnage looking tendrils. Up front, Carnage in super high gloss, and that's that same awesome logo from the packaging. Up top, a multi-jointed arm and a spring-loaded waist clamp. As for head sculpts, we do get two of them. One with his mouth only partially open, and the other one downright screaming, and yes, you do have a visible tongue. The sculpt on both I think is good, but we will have to try them out on the body to see which one is my favourite. I like the contrast between the black squigglies and the metallic red. Plus, his eyes, they are super pearlescent, so when the light hits them, they glow a treat. Okay, so we've got a bunch of tendrils just like Venom, and no, we're not going to look at every single one of them here and now. That would take forever. So what we're going to do is simply look at two of them, the most unique of the set, and then when we get Carnage out, he will pop them all on, and you'll see the rest of them. Now, this one does have this axe or blade up top with this darker shading, and it's sculpted well. Unfortunately, though, it's not wired, so what you see is what you get in terms of the pre-sculpted position. We also get these spiky ones with no blade, and these ones are interesting. I, as of yet, don't know which tendrils I prefer, but if he's anything like Venom, it's probably going to be none of them. I'm really trying. I don't want to judge them too harshly before we see them on him, but there is so much plastic and paint here. They absolutely could have put that budget towards something else. Maybe a Cletus Cassidy head sculpt, anyone? But no, they went with tendrils. So boring. Now, we do get this axe switch out hand that does connect via a ball peg. I absolutely love that there are holes through it and those look like his fingers forming into the blade itself. We've got some black squigglies and of course the blade is shaded just like the tendrils. And for some reason only one extra hand. It's kind of a gesturing hand with these big pointy nails, they're a little bit prickly. Please, be careful. What we are going to do now, though, is get Carnage himself out here. Standing straight up and down in the light box, no crazy poses or accessories or anything like that. And even this early on in the video, 
I'm struggling to collect my thoughts. There are certain things I really like, like, yeah, that's Carnage. It looks just like him. It's Cletus Cassidy, this big, tall, lanky symbiote, creepy as hell and bright red, but... There are other things that I really don't like. Those visible holes in the back are so freaking ugly. Plus, the in-hand feel is kind of cheap, and his articulation is very lackluster. But on the other hand, he has decent paint applications, and the sculpt work and proportions are good, so what I'm trying to say, the TLDR is, yes, we do have plenty to discuss. Up close and personal, kicking things off with Carnage's more neutral head sculpt, and something here just doesn't sit well with me. I don't know if it's the shape of the sculpt being so thin, or the size being so tiny, but... This head sculpt, it throws off the entire body. It makes him look really pinheaded. Which is not ideal, because I like the sculpt. When you take it off the body, it looks sick, but on the body, it's so weird. Now, one other weird thing is the way they've done the neck connector. Now, they've sunken this ball joint inside the body, which does look a little bit more integrated, but it also kind of deletes a lot of articulation, especially looking forward. Granted, he is better than Venom, but still, I reckon they could have done this neck joint a little bit better. All is not lost, though. This head sculpt is so much nicer. It's bigger, it's longer because his mouth is open, and his tongue is visible. This is the head sculpt I'm going with in the collection. He still, of course, has that annoying cupped neck connector joint, but... I don't know, with this head sculpt, it looks way more seamless. Now, do let me know which of the two sculpts you prefer, and if you see the weird issue with this head sculpt being too small, in the comments down below. Kind of a running theme with these ZD Toys Venom series figures is good, but not perfect. The sculpt is awesome, but... It's completely solid, so no articulation. Good, but not perfect. We have these peg ports that accommodate the tendrils, but no caps to cover them. Once again, good, but not perfect. Now, they are individually numbered, so they tell you which tendril goes where, but for me, I would have straight up preferred just going without them. Maybe do a deluxe carnage with the tendrils, and then, okay, you can have the peg ports, but... For a normal carnage just standing in the collection, when you pop the tendrils on, I don't think they really work here, but you'll see what I mean. Right freaking now, because I want to get these out the way early and never have to talk about them again. They are just not working for me. I think they're terrible. Now, the ones down here, they go straight back. Why? I don't know, because from the front, you can barely even see them, and they add a ton of depth for no reason whatsoever. They add no presence. Now, you might be thinking, Justin, just rotate them. Well, these pegs, they're keyed, so they only go one way. They sink into the body. So if you do rotate them, they come out of the sockets. So they're pretty much supposed to go in the orientations. I have them now. These ones that stick out the side kind of look like wings, they're way too uniform. This one up the top is cool, because it comes forward, it's got a spiky, but why aren't these posable? Come on, ZD Toys, they should have absolutely been posable. They interact with each other and look like a hot mess. It basically looks like red spaghetti stuck onto the back of Carnage. These ones have no blades, but they do stick out on the sides. I like these ones as well, but... Where is this one going? I don't know who this is supposed to be for. No one can really see it, aside from it sticking all the way back out here. Then down for his feet, he has these little spikies. These I do like. But all the other ones, to me at least, make no sense. Then again, maybe you like them, and all the power to you. But for me, this is going to bring me great pleasure to do all of these. They're going straight back in the box, and never again will they be put on the figure. So dramatic, Justin. Surely they're not that bad. Yeah, I'm aware, but... You know, what's life without a bit of drama? It keeps stuff interesting. Now, his torso is one sculpted piece of hard plastic, but the sculpt... He's good. He's got defined abs, he's got defined pecs, and he does flare out below the pecs and taper down to a very slim and slender waist. One thing I don't love, though, this step down at the shoulder. Now, normally that's for a butterfly joint up and down, but this guy doesn't have one. So that step down really serves no purpose whatsoever, and it does look kind of ugly. Luckily, in the right pose, it does fill out thanks to the shoulder, but... Standing straight up and down, it's visible. Something else that's visible is 
all of this musculature and the striations on top, it genuinely looks like a dude that's been skinned and this is what was left underneath. It is nasty. The black sections are raised, they're not just painted, so yes, you can feel the edges. The same thing can be said for the arms, but what are those? Those elbow joints are nasty. They're basically the same elbow joints that Venom had, but shrunk down just a little bit smaller for Carnage. Now, some people, they may like the sculpt, and they may like the tentacles, and they may like the detail, but what they won't like is potentially the colour. Because he's not red, he's kind of this metallic pink. Now for me, it looks like a skinned dude, so I'm okay, that's musculature underneath, but for Carnage, traditionally, he's usually a lot redder. Now maybe you can do a custom job on this guy because he's not super expensive, but as it stands, I like the colour. Especially with those black lines, I mean, when the light hits this thing with the pearlescent finish and the black lines with the contrast and this darker edge on the blade, yeah, I don't have any complaints with the finish. This totally works for me. Now, the blade is quite large, but it's much better than the tendrils. Those tendrils make no sense, but I can absolutely see myself displaying Carnage with the blade in the collection. Coming down to the legs, tall, lanky, spindly, creepy, spider-like even, yep, all of those and more. Now, up the top here, we do have some black paint, which kind of tries to blend it together with the crotch area. Okay, a valiant effort ZD Toys, but you're not fooling anyone. We can absolutely see the joints, and the same thing can be said for the upper thighs. Speaking of the thighs, the sculpt work is awesome. There's the muscle fibers, the black squigglies, and that knee joint looks so much better than the elbow. If only they'd spent a little bit more time on those elbow joints, because yeah, that's a definite eyesore. Then coming down to the feet, only two toes. I didn't know he only had two toes, but at the very least, those nails, they're painted in glossy black. Then on the underside, nothing. They're completely smooth. For a quick side-by-side -side comparison, the two currently released figures in the ZD Toys Classic Venom series, Carnage and Venom. Now, they have some similarities. The engineering, which means articulation, isn't great, but the sculpt work is good. Paint applications, stunning. And the scaling, to me at least, looks accurate. Carnage is taller, but Venom is so much bulkier. They both have presence, they're both imposing. But they also have the same annoying issue with the neck connector. Both Carnage and Venom, they're perpetually looking up. No, it's not down to the camera angle or posing it. Venom's head sculpt genuinely can't go any further forward. And the same with Carnage, which does mean that scaling alongside much shorter Marvel Legends is a bit of a challenge. Now, that's one you can overcome with posing. If you want Spidey in midair about to kick Carnage's butt, then yeah, he can be looking up at Spidey, but looking down, as we've already discussed, it's just a non-starter. Now, I'm sorry I don't have a classic Spidey or a Marvel Legends Carnage to compare this guy to, but hopefully PS4 Spidey and... PS4 slash 5 Miles gives you a rough idea how Carnage scales to Marvel Legends for your display. What about Symbiote v Symbiote? One Marvel Legends, one ZD Toys? Yeah, no, not really. The ZD Toys Carnage, because technically he's one-tenth scale, whereas Marvel Legends are that six to six and a half inch scale, it doesn't really work here. Carnage is far too tall alongside movie Venom. At least I think so. Going over articulation, now my expectations, they are at rock bottom, because Venom, he was kind of a big brick. He had terrible articulation. But then again, this guy's a lot taller and thinner and lankier than Venom, so maybe his articulation will be a little bit better. Let's find out. Starting off with the head sculpt, it's a sunken neck connector with a ball joint on the inside. Looking forward and back, swivel and pivot side to side. The arms will go up to there on ratchets, going forward and back. No butterfly at the shoulder and no swivel at the bicep. Double bend at the elbow, going past 90. Then a ball joint for the wrist peg with a decent amount of range in pretty much every direction. The torso, nothing completely fixed. The legs will drop down to there, going forward but kind of kicking out, going out to there, swivel at the hip area, and another swivel at the upper thigh. 
But if you do use the thigh swivel, these black lines, they get out of alignment. So I would suggest just using the upper one. We do have a double bend at the knee going past 90, then a ball joint for the ankle, good for forward and back swivel, and some pivots side to side. Wrapping up on ZD Toys 110 scale classic Venom series, Carnage. I'm gonna make this pretty simple. He's good, but he definitely isn't great, and he is so far removed from perfect that it's all the way back there in the rearview mirror, this line needs a ton of work. Now the stuff that's good, proportions, sculpt work, paint applications, some accessories, interchangeable heads, display base. That's it, pretty simple. Then the stuff that's bad, sit down, we're gonna be here for a minute. The tendrils, both the size, the shape, the fact that when you remove them there's holes in his back, and why do they work the way they do? Why do they just stick out? Why aren't they wired? So many questions. The articulation, not good enough for this price point and scale. This guy should be able to move way better than he can. I mean, there are Marvel Legends Carnage figures that can pose for days. Whereas this guy, he is way too static. Symbiotes are known to jump around and be all creepy crawly, but this guy kinda can't do any of that. At least you get a flight stand. And then... Why is he so tall? I know, 110 scale, it's a thing. They had to do that scale to get the licensing, but they could have shrunk him down a little so he wasn't as tall and as lanky as he is. I can forgive that last point because this is their scale and they kind of want to build it out, but oh, it's such an uphill battle. They need to do a Spidey. They need to do pretty much all of the other cast and crew of the comic-based Marvel characters, and at this rate... I'm not really looking forward to collecting the lines, so unless I see some big improvements, I don't know if I'm going to keep going. So at the end of this, do I like this guy? Yes, but do I recommend him? I don't think I can. Now I got mine from ToysWonderland.com. Link for that is in the description below. They do have installment plans and a reward system. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon, and join button if you like the sound of seeing your name in the end credits of my reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video.